I'm showing you the best FPS boost mods for Forge 1.12.2. So it's probably fair to start off with zero mods enabled. As you can see, nothing is enabled right now, and I'm averaging around 350 FPS. I'm standing still right now. If I start to twirl and do all this wild stuff, of course, it's going to drop a little, but I guess this gives you guys an idea. At number 5, we have the mod called Let Me Despawn, which might not actually impact your world a lot in the beginning, but it can turn out to be very useful. You see, what it does is it lets certain mobs despawn, ones that can't despawn for a number of reasons, but that you really don't need in your world. As you can see, I'm getting around the same amount of FPS right now, um, and... You know, that's because I haven't been playing in this world for very long. But as you basically play Minecraft, you're going to accumulate mobs. Like, let's, um, maybe a zombie right here that picks up an apple from the ground. Not sure if it's going to pick it up. I'm pretty sure not all zombies can. Um, but, oh well, you get the idea. Let's say that does happen. This zombie is no longer going to despawn in your world. And just like many other mobs, this could start lagging. Or maybe a creeper crawled into your boat, right? All kinds of stuff like that. And where this mod actually really gets useful is if you have mods like RL Croft installed. Or certain ones that really spawn a lot of mobs. Um, I have a random mod over here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what mod this is, but basically, if you have mods that spawn a bunch of mobs, um, add all these <laughs> structures with stuff, then this can definitely come in useful. Also, with this beautiful mask on my head, it feels worth noting that all of these mods are, of course, going to be linked down in the description below. Number 4, we have a mod named Syxis, and this mod is great as it handles FPS improvements for chunk loading and similar stuff like that. However, that's not actually its main purpose. You see, I haven't enabled it just yet, because if I save and quit, you'll notice that I have the Hermitcroft Season 5 World Download. Why, you may ask? Well, this world is around 2 gigabytes big, and the main purpose, say, of Sysis is to speed up world loading, right? And what better to test that with than a massive world like the Hermitcroft Season 5 world? So, without the mod enabled, let's see how long it takes. Okay, that was definitely quite a bit faster than I expected it to be. Let's see how much FPS am I getting. Around 200. I've rebooted Minecraft. Let's see how long it takes with Syxis. Oh, wow. That was near instant. I didn't even have to speed that up. Here inside of Minecraft, as you can see, my FPS are definitely increased um, slightly noticeably, not by a whole lot, but still either way, definitely worth running this mod. Anyways, something that you do have to note is that this mod is mainly targeted towards lower end devices, um, meaning that if you're running on a first generation Intel i0.1, well, then this mod is going to make you very happy, of course, and if you're running something like an NVIDIA 4090, this mod is going to have a lot less impact comparatively. For number 3, I don't have one mod, but I have two. These two mods are very similar, um, but they just work for different things. One for the crafting table and one for the furnace. These are fast workbench and fast furnace. Basically, these mods make the both the crafting table as well as the furnace significantly faster using a number of methods. So first off, I'll just open up the crafting table over here, and let's say I want to craft 16 buttons, right? I can do that right there, and as you can see, I've crafted those buttons. Now, because I'm in the crafting menu here, you might not be able to see it very directly, but especially if... um. You are watching, for example, server memory spikes and stuff like that, or just general um, spikes in your memory, or if you just have many background processes running that you also need to keep running, you will definitely notice this a lot. Basically, um, what I, if I craft buttons once again, this is where the magic happens. You see, usually when you place something into a crafting bench, um, 
the game will search through all the crafting recipes and then try and figure out which one you're trying to do. In this case, I'm trying to craft 16 buttons here once again. And what this mod actually does is it remembers, okay, the last thing you've crafted are buttons. And so, once you place something into the crafting table, it is immediately going to think, okay, you're crafting buttons, right? And so if you're crafting multiple things in a row, that is where it is actually going to really start decreasing. And now, as I said, that is definitely not all. For the furnace, things are going to get a lot crazier. So basically, opening this up, we can, for example, choose a recipe over here. Smelting sand with a lava bucket is, in this case, our recipe of choice. Now, every single tick that this game is smelting the sand together with the bucket, it is actually checking to see if there is an update in terms of the items I've placed here, and to see if this is, in fact, the recipe. I am performing. Now what this mod does is it completely removes those checks, which means that Minecraft no longer cycles through every single smelting recipe in this case, every single tick, which takes up a crazy amount of performance. But not even that much currently. Think about it, let's say you have 30 other mods installed that all add their own custom items and recipes. Double or triple the amount of recipes that the furnace has to cycle through every single tick. And now this also comes in very useful, not if you're using just a single furnace, but if you have a whole smelting array, or if you're playing on a server with 20 different players all smelting at the same time. As I said, that's definitely now, that, of course, is still definitely not all. Opening up this crafting table, as you can see, there's not actually a crafting book here. That is because this mod makes sure that the crafting book is not automatically synced when the player logs in, also resulting in faster loading times. And that is still actually not all. Let's say I want to craft some shovels. I'm going to craft them like this because I'm a maniac. Anyways, if I now shift-click all of these, that was butter smooth. And now I can do that again with another example. Let's say we want to craft 64 chests. Shift click. All 64 of them have been crafted. That was incredibly smooth. They went right into my inventory. And now without mods, just so you can compare the two a little, when I shift click all of those, you'll notice that there's just that little bit of a lag spike. And really, it's those little things that make the gameplay experience that much better. In second place, we have a mod called Vanilla Fix, and this mod has to do with textures and the texture ticking, actually, I believe. Basically, it just improves how well and quickly textures are rendered inside of Minecraft. Anyways, basically, as you can see, it is definitely increasing my FPS quite significantly. Now, something that this, um, uh, this mod actually also does is something pretty cool to do with crashing. And um, it's definitely very useful when you have multiple or actually quite a lot of mods enabled. This mod will give you some great diagnostics when your game crashes, um, and it won't actually crash the game completely. Um, I'll show you what it looks like right here. I have also heard that it works exponentially better the more mods you have enabled, just because something that this mod is really made to do. Anyways, basically, once again, I definitely recommend this one. And finally, as number one, we have Optifine. That's right, you already see some changes right over here. Now, of course, Optifine is in and of itself already going to do some stuff to help us out and achieve a smoother Minecraft experience. However, what is great about Optifine is that it actually allows us to customize our Minecraft experience a lot more as well. I'm not lame. I'm, of course, not just going to leave it at this, right? So you can open up the pause menu over here. And we can go into options and then into the video settings over here. And you'll notice that there's a few more tabs here. And these are the things that Optifine adds. Basically, we can, for example, go over to details over here. And here we have the clouds options. You can turn these off for better FPS or to fast, as you can see. And you can basically, basically do that for all of this. So in this case, trees, you can turn them to fancy and it'll take a little bit more processing power from your device, or you can turn them to fast, and that is going to improve your performance. 
as you can see fog is currently also set to fast and basically you can just for example turn off stars over here turn off capes maybe you, we do want entity shadows for some reason but we don't want smooth biomes Basically, in most cases, turning all of these things off is going to generally improve your performance. And the great thing about this is that you can really choose for yourself which ones you want to turn on and which ones you want to turn off. And then, of course, we can go into this quality tab over here, and maybe we want better grass, but we do want to set it to fast. Um, of course, turning it off will save us the most. However, I'm going to turn it to fast, for example. Connected textures... I don't want that to be on fancy, so I'm going to turn it off now, and that might improve my FPS a little. And the reason I'm improving that is because I do want the custom sky to be on. For example, right, really you can customize this however much you want. As I said, turn these all off for the best performance possible. Anyways, basically, um, that was that. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave those down in the comments down below. And if you have any mods um, for FPS improvement that I did leave out of this video, then make sure to leave those down in the comments below for other people to check out. Um, but, oh well, that was basically that. For right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.